Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie and thank you for joining me today. My channel is about DIY and crafting every Sunday and during the week I post videos that could be anything from a vlog to cooking, to a haul, travel or anything about Las Vegas. So today's video I'm making some Christmas decoration from the Dollar Tree store and from my thrifts from last week. So without further ado, let's jump right in. From Walmart I purchased this cone and this bundle of wool. The cone was $3 and the ball of wool was 7 Now I start at the top of the cone by adding hot glue and as I work around the cone I just keep adding the glue and adding the wool to the glue. For the tree topper, I used a bell that I also purchased from Dollar Tree. I think it makes a really cute, inexpensive decoration. Here I'm taking my thrift shop tray and I'm going to use acrylic paint, but I wish I had used chalk paint. It took three coats of the acrylic paint to cover up the design on the tray. I then used these two little Dollar Tree wooden homes. So then I gave these a couple of coats of acrylic paint also. So first I attached these two houses back to back using hot glue, but then it didn't work. So I had to go back in and use E6000. So whilst the glue was drying, I then removed the added decoration to the third house that I purchased from the thrift store. I gave this little house two coats of chalk paint. After the glue had dried, I then took a magic marker and drew on my design. I then added some detail around the little windows. Okay, so this material was really quite big. It was 32 inches by 40 inches. However, I'm not sure how I feel about this product. There was a lot of loose glitter in this bag and it was stuck to the material and it got everywhere. Also, can you see the oil that's seeping through the acrylic paint? That's another reason why I decided to use the material. I think our grandchildren will love this centerpiece. For this next project, I added three coats of chalk paint to completely cover up all the design that was on this tree. After the paint had dried, I then painted on some holly details. I also added a couple of clip magnets that I purchased from the office section of Dollar Tree. These are wooden stickers from Dollar Tree. I painted them black and then added them at the bottom just for some added embellishment. These stickers are from Dollar Tree. I measured the stickers and then cut out 10 pieces of card so that one sticker would fit on each card. I then took them outside and sprayed them silver. a Dollar Tree wooden ornament. I'm about to separate the two pieces of wood by cutting the twine. I'm going to paint both pieces with white chalk paint. These vase fillers are also from Dollar Tree. 
Now I'm simply going to add the vase fillers to the decoration using the hot glue gun. I really like the finished look. So for the larger star, I used a blue chalk paint and an acrylic silver paint. And here's the finished look. For this next project, I used a dollar store frame and ornament. I then took some white card the size of the frame. I then painted the white card black. I then used these wooden stickers from Walmart and I added the word believe to the bottom of the frame. I really like this snazzy reindeer. Now you can buy these clear ornaments from Dollar Store, however the very top silver portion of these ornaments are very fragile and they can be bent very easily. Now I had some bits and pieces left over in my crafting supplies so I thought it'd be a fun idea just to add them inside the ornament and I think they turned out really nice. I hope you enjoyed watching the short video this week. I hope you got some tips and ideas for yourself. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you next week.